For more than 25 years, Gilda's Club Quad Cities has helped thousands of cancer patients and their families navigate the disease and provide support. And that is all going to continue because now Gilda's is expanding and the organization has changed its name. Kelsey Allen is joining us now to talk about those changes and what's new with the nonprofit organization. Kelsey, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know, Kelsey, you were on the show. I, I went out to Gilda's uh, back in June to talk about the new wig salon that you yep. that you have there at Genesis. And, you know, you all kind of teased me that you had a big announcement the following day. <laughs> yes. And that announcement was the name change. Yes. So we are talking about Cancer Support Community, Iowa and Northwest Illinois Good job. at Gilda's Club. Yeah. You got it correct. That's yes. Great. Why was this name change necessary? It's obviously a much longer name than just Gilda's Club Quad Cities, but why was this change necessary? Yeah, so the name change came last month. We made mm -hmm. that announcement um, for good reason. Yeah. So we received a grant through the Iowa Cancer Consortium mm -hmm. to expand our services further into the state of Iowa. So instead of serving just 12 counties, we are now serving the entire state of Iowa. 99 counties. So 99 counties. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So the name really um, did come for good reason. We want to be more inclusive to our service area. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and something that I was reading, too, that, that came from Gilda's Club, Iowa has the second highest cancer incidence rate in the nation. That is true. So these are services and support that are very much needed in the state. Absolutely, and we've been very fortunate to have our location here in the Quad Cities, and we feel like we can do so much more by bringing those further into the state of Iowa. Absolutely, so despite the name change, yeah. which of yeah. course was necessary because yeah. you want that inclusivity, um, the mission really remains the same for Gilda's Club. So folks that are like, what does this mean? I've enjoyed the, the services at Gilda's Club. Mm -hmm. They've helped me, they've helped my family so much. Now that's not gonna be changing. Correct. So um, describe for people the, some of the services that they can find through Gilda's Club right now and um, you know they can still count on those. Yes so the services here in the Quad Cities is not changing so mm -hmm. I want to reassure everybody here listening at home that yeah. everything they have come to know and love is going to remain the same. We are just adding some additional services that people can access throughout the state but here locally they can come and attend any service that they have been provided um, that's not going to change. And it's important to note that you know you're not only helping these people who are bad battling this terrible disease, but you, you give a lot of care for the people who are caregiving for these other people, so why is it important for Gilda's to focus on them as well? Yeah, I think that's very important. We, you're not just serving the patient, you have to serve the caregiver, and I think that's what makes, makes our services stand out and more unique. Um, so it's very, very important to serve both those capacities. Yeah, it's very, it's almost just well-rounded in that, in that way. You know, mm -hmm. some people too, they handle a diagnosis differently than maybe a family member would. And, mm -hmm. and you know, that family member may need the support Absolutely. at that time. Absolutely. So yeah, you've, you, Gildas has done a very good job of you that. Have. Um, and speaking of services, starting next month, you're going to be actually providing the community with two new cancer support groups. Yes. So we are launching two new virtual support groups. Wow. One of those groups is designed for the cancer patient or survivors and then one is designed for those caregivers and anybody obviously through the state or in our service area mm -hmm. current service area can access those and these are going to be free to the public correct yeah all of our services are offered at no cost mm -hmm. and that will remain true for these virtual programs and as well should, should we register for these is, is there a registration required yes registration okay. um, is required you can find all that information on our website um, it's pretty easy to do we have people attend a welcome meeting just okay. to introduce them to our services and then they can attend support groups or any other programs that they desire okay that makes perfect sense and b before we lose you yeah. today we want to talk about some of the items that you brought with you even have the new logo. We yeah. do, yeah. So in front of us here is our, our cancer chemo bags and anybody in our community, we try to get mm -hmm. these out to anybody starting treatment, um, specifically infusion. Those can be longer days and so we, we yeah. provide them with some comfort items to kind of make that a little bit easier when they're they're sitting in those chemo chairs for long extended hours. Very special. Get a good so, book and... Yeah. Yep, a cancer road map. We have port pillows. We have eye masks so, so they can relax and in their treatment room. All fans. things they might not think of yeah. when going through yeah. it that they that they might need so that's, yeah. a, that's a great service that you provide Thank uh, you. so it's important to note that uh, those those support groups do start next month and they're all virtual so you can take advantage of those and if you want to learn more about them and all other services and programs that 
the Gildas Club has to offer, or I should say the cancer support community at Gildas Club, yep. Yep. Iowa Northwest Illinois. You can head to gildasclubqc.com. That hasn't changed. That has not. Kelsey, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you guys thank so you much. Thank you for being yes. here today. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Your local news at four with Marsha is coming up next.